Ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, and esteemed guests, we gather here today to celebrate the remarkable life of Lizzie Wanyoike, a woman whose impact on the lives of many has left an indelible mark. Born on the 28th November 1951 in Gadukeni Town, Muranga County, she was the daughter of the late Peter Songadage Karioki and Naomi Wangeshi. Lizzie was the sixth child in a family of 10 siblings, uh, surrounded by the love and support of her brothers and sisters, uh, John Gadage, the late Julius Wangari, the late Fresha Njoki, Jones Njoroge, Sylvia Wamboi, David Mugambi, Samuel Mainge, Rachel Wagikoyo, and Joseph Kirago. Her education. Lizzie's journey began at Gadukeni Primary School, where she laid the foundation for a long time of learning. Her academic prowess led her to Kahuya Girls High School and later to Nakuru High School, shaping her into a woman of knowledge and resilience. Her pursuit of higher education continued at Kenyatta College, now Kenyatta University, where she studied education, honing her skills and embracing the opportunities that would shape her future. Her family. She was the wife of the late Josephat Mburo Wanyoike, mother to Anthony Mburo, Susan Wairimo Wanyoike, Stella Wanjiro and Lawrence Joroge, Eric Karioki and Melody Wanjiro Wanyoike, mother in love to Anne Wanjiro, David Mburo, and Peter Gitau. A doting grandmother to Ayana Wanjiro, Shina Mudoni, Ethan Mburo, Jonathan Gige, Sid Mburu, Shaza, Shaza Kerich, J. Mburu, Shemil Mudoni, Lizzy Mudoni, Karioki, Ian, Philip, uh, Philip Ndegwa, and Nizi Mudoni Wanyeke. Uh, her career. Her career started as a teacher at the State House Girls High School, teaching business studies. She later transferred to Temple College as a teacher in secretary duties. The beginning of her first opportunity, built on her dedication and commitment, she quickly rose from the position of lecturer to deputy principal and finally co-owner of Temple College. Lizzie's entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to education led her to establish NIBS Technical College, a testament to her vision for empowering others through knowledge and skills. The institution stands as a living legacy, impacting countless lives by providing quality education and fostering a culture of excellence. In addition, Lizzie's achievements went on. The Emory Hotel stands as a symbol of her commitment to the hospitality and service industry. The establishment of this hotel was her vision that went beyond business. It was about creating spaces where people could thrive, learn and experience the best of life. A true, a true philanthropist at heart, Lizzie Wanyoike founded the Lizzie Wanyoike Foundation, embodying her, her belief in giving back to the community. Through, his found, through, this found, through this foundation, she touches the lives of many, offering opportunities for growth, development, and a chance for a brighter future. Lizzie's dedication to education and nurturing young parents was evidenced by the establishment of the Lizzie Wanyoike Preparatory and Senior School, a testament to an unwavering commitment to shaping the minds of the younger generation and providing them with a strong foundation for success, both in school and at home. Promotion to glory. Three years ago, Liz faced health challenges that tested her strength and resilience. And deterred, she sought treatment in Kenya, India, and USA, displaying incredible courage throughout her journey. On January 14, 2024, uh, Lizzie Wanyoike took her well-deserved rest, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to inspire generations to come. As we reflect on Lizzie's life, let us remember her as a woman of vision compassion and determination. Let us carry forward the torch she lit, the torch she lit 
ensuring that her legacy lives on in the hearts of those she touched. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, let's celebrate that uh, wonderful life of Liz. Let's celebrate it with a clap. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Tony, please come for the family tribute or speech. Uh, Tony, where are you? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tony. Oh. grateful in order to stand here today to share a little bit about our relationship with mom. Coming from a humble background, she was determined to give us a better life, a better quality of life, but she made sure we kept our feet on the ground. She was determined to give us the best education that money could offer. Though we all at one point inserted our own will in those choices. For example, I was earmarked to attend St. Mary School, but opted to attend Highway Secondary School. Stella chose to attend Musogari because she strongly wanted to pursue swimming, while Eric, at an early age, opted to attend boarding school, leaving my mom and dad a true empty nesters at an early age. It is when we were adults that we truly understood mom's character and personality and particularly her generous spirit. Growing up, we were always in the company of our relatives from both sides of the family, be it her younger siblings, like my uncle who stood here before me, who were literally raised in the same home, or our cousins who would share rooms with us until they were sent to boarding schools. Our household was a continuous beehive of activity and should have it no other way. We also came to understand her love for her work and how it was an integral part of her. She is one of the very few individuals that we talk that we can talk about who truly lived her life with passion. She was fortunate and she was truly blessed by God. Whatever she put her hand to, she prospered. Most importantly, she worked hard and always led by example. Our mom was not one to stand over our heads, breathing down our throats at every turn, issuing threats. She was a mom who talked to us and allowed us space to explore and learn for ourselves. We were all determined to live our very best lives because she had given us her very best. She had an uncanny sense for business. She was a true risk taker. She was a take it or leave it type of person. Someone who was willing to try and fail, but never willing to accept not trying. This is why she gave us each the opportunity to explore our careers, though we all knew her secret desire was to have us, work, have us all working with her. She worked strategically to ensure that there was a position for each one of us while throwing soft hints here and there. We chose to come back to join her in business, though we truly believed in her vision for this, though because we really, because we truly believed in her vision for this country. Her true business was to grow and develop people. And this, and the principle she, she had, this is a principle she always practiced. We often told that we have a huge legacy to continue. And the 
that we have a big shoe to fill. We agree to this. What we can say here today, as we remember our dear mom, is that we will continue to endeavor to fulfill her vision for education, doing so in our own unique way. There is no way we could fit into our shoes by ourselves. We will need others like yourselves, those who have worked closely with mom, those who have shown her favor and grace, and those who believe she is capable of anything, to jump in together to continue fulfilling her vision and her dreams. We will miss you, mom. May you rest with the Lord. Thank you.